All right, folks, this is News or Snooze presented by Christopher William Jewelers. Hit me. You're gonna can you kind of give the the overall idea yeah. so I know what I'm what I'm doing? <laughs> Not even for the listeners. It's just like we, <laughs> this is for we me. don't know what, what this is. So basically what I what I will do is I'll find if we do this weekly. This I'll is a weekly find, thing now. Find, there, there's a lower third. This is a weekly okay. thing. I'll try to find multiple quotes. In this case, I have three. So it's it's you know leaning on the local media a bit here in some of those press conferences. Three quotes. I'll read it to you. I'll give additional context if needed. You have to tell me if you think the quote is like newsworthy. That means something, or if it's like yeah, that's a throwaway that I'm I'm not reading into. So it doesn't mean the quote is like boring, right? It's not like oh boring quotes news, but it's it's more of like all right, that's not actually a big deal. Okay. Okay. You ready? Yeah, I was going to put music on for the background of this, but uh, I decided not to because I need to. This needs to have my full undivided attention. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I could start with multiple. Here, we'll start with this one. It's a fun one. Our big goal right now is 1 and 0 every week. Be the snooze. first. Be, <laughs> that, that part is snooze. I, I could have just cut that. Be the first team at JMU to go undefeated. This is Cole Potts, offensive lineman to Dave Rigger. News or snooze with a player throwing out an undefeated season goal? Uh, news, just because, like, man, that is bold of him. That is an insane thing to say in a fall camp interview. It came out of nowhere. <laughs> like, that wasn't like, even prompted. Do you think you're going to go undefeated? <laughs> Hell yeah, we're going to go. No, he's like, we want to be the first team. And it's not even like we want to run through the Sun Belt. It's we want to be the we want to beat every other JMU team to be the first JMU undefeated team. Like, it was, I think they asked, like, it was the last question in the interview, or at least was posted. And it was like, how do you stay motivated? Or is it motivating, like, not being allowed to play in the Sun Belt title game again? He's like, yeah, go 1 0 every week, win every game. <laughs> it's like, whoa. <laughs> well, it's like, well, that kind of defeats the whole purpose of going 1 0 every week if you're already looking at going. That at is pretty undefeated. funny, where it's like, we're just going to stay narrowly focused on one game at a time and, and try to win 12. <laughs> yeah, that one's news I like that quote that was a good one okay. hit me with the next one second quote Kurt Signetti so he says well I'd love to see it and I think it's it's worth noting that it here is like a live tackling scrimmage so while I'd love to see it I think improving these guys assignment wise fundamentally technique wise execution wise and keeping them on the field right now is more important so essentially he's saying that he's not going to have a full tackling scrimmage this um, camp. News. I want to take you back to this this game during the COVID times of Navy. I forget <laughs> who Navy played, but Bennett texts me and it's goes, "BYU, I think, right?" Yeah, it was BYU. <laughs> Navy was just a slight underdog in the game, and Bennett texts me and goes, "This is the biggest lock I've ever had. This is." You have to put a few units down on Navy. You have to go. Navy is the best bet, not just of today, not just of the season, but maybe of the last 10 years. And I went, damn, all right. And so we go into the game, and, like, one of the first sideline hits is, like, on CBS Sports Network or one of, like, the the B-team uh, networks. And they have a sideline hit, and they go, uh, yeah, Navy didn't tackle all off season out of preparation for this year and then proceeded to lose by 50. And Bennett, te- three. and Bennett texts me, he goes, well, if I had known they weren't tackling all <laughs> offseason, I wouldn't have bet Navy. And that kind of scares me that Kurt Signetti is following that kind of uh, that layout where they're not tackling. Uh, he mentioned they wanted to get away from soft tissue injuries, everything like that. But what worries me more is the first part of that quote. Can you read it again about what th- what they need to work on? I th- Yeah, he said, I... Th- I think improving these guys assignment wise, fundamentally, technique wise, execution wise. All of that scares me that like that those are the first things out of your mouth right now. I think it was more of like so he also added because I cut parts of it, but there is before that he was like, I know they can tackle like like everyone on the defense has been here for like, you know, they're like (laughs) 23 years old. Like they, they know how to tackle. So I think it's just focusing on like, hey, this is how you play the gap. And then they're doing thud. So it's like there's contact. It's just not. I think it's I think it's news as well and I think it's uh news for a slightly different reason. He definitely views the Bucknell game like a scrimmage. 
Like, I think he thinks that's a scrimmage. And he's, yeah. he's not wrong. <laughs> but that just cracked me up because earlier he had, like earlier in camp, he had some quote about like, yeah, weeks two through five are going to be hard. And it was like, oh, <laughs> I'm not even <laughs> pretending that the Bucknell game will be a challenge. I think that one is like, all right, we don't need to tackle in part because they're veterans. But like, I don't know, if they went to Charlottesville on September 2nd, I kind of feel like they do a tackling scrimmage. That's a good take. I agree. So, but I thought that was an interesting one at the very least. Probably the most interesting quote he gave uh, after the scrimmage. I like it. Okay, last quote of our three. <laughs> this is my favorite one because it leads to all my theories. Big shout out to Alonzo, man. He's been playing really well. All of our quarterbacks are actually. Tough battle, tough battle. This is offensive lineman Tyshawn Wyatt to Dave Rigger earlier this week. When asked just <laughs> broad, broadly about the offense, he started off with a little, you know, Alonzo's balling out kind of thing. News or snoops? We'll get into this a little bit more in the camp chatter portion of the podcast. Bennett has a conspiracy theory that he is going to lay out like Charlie from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Um, with that being said, as much as it hurts me to say, it's a news. You think so? You think there's it? nothing There's nothing coming out about Kurt Signetti's comments on the court. This is the first comments on the quarterback battle since like day two of fall camp. And I think it means something that Wyatt's first name out of his mouth is Barnett. I kind of think so too, right? When it's like, how's the offense looking? It's like, Alonzo looks good. It's like, oh. <laughs> this, th- you're going you're gonna to lay out your conspiracy theories here in a little bit. And I, and I will let you have the floor for that. This is the only one to me that like. Okay, that's fair. Makes a conspiracy theory valid. Yeah, that's fair. But it, it is because, like, how's yeah? How's the offense? Well, Alon's is freaking good. It's like I can't believe oh. I didn't have any snoozes. Next time I'll <laughs> have to throw in a clunker. Do you not have like a fourth one you want to just throw in? No fourth one. No fourth one. I have my three. <laughs> the, well, there was a lot of snooze during during the Signetti four and a half minutes post first scrimmage um, that I did not write write down. But he gave <laughs> a lot of quotes that are, that are pretty boring. That's very fair. Of those three, which one's the most newsworthy? Alonza quote, non-tackling quote, or undefeated quote? I'm going to say Alonza quote yeah, is fair. the most newsworthy, followed by the followed by the non-tackling quote, and then the Cole Potts undefeated quote. That's just a, that's like a. That's just an Fun. athlete thing to say, but um, yeah. it's just wild. That, like, what do you expect out of this season? We're going to go 1-0 and and then undefeated. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to beat Charlottesville. Be, beat, uh, Virginia Charlottesville. They're going to beat Charlottesville. We did it. <laughs> they, they play the uh, – honestly, UVA's roster could probably benefit from just, like, some townspeople joining them. No offense. <laughs> 